As you look at this photo, you probably notice the three brightest stars, and these stars connect to make a pattern in the sky called the Summer Triangle. Now, as you draw an imaginary path from the star Vega down to Altair, about two-thirds of the way down, there's a small asterism that looks exactly like its name, and it's called the Coat Hanger Asterism. And once you see it, you can never unsee it. It's a very easy pattern to see in the sky, but you do need dark skies to see it. And it's surrounded by easy to find constellations such as Lyra, Cygnus, and Aquila. So in this video, we will get practice finding the coat hanger asterism and look at some of its characteristics. Welcome to Learn the Sky. My name is Janine and I'll be your guide as we explore the night sky one constellation at a time. First, let's review what an asterism is, because they're not true constellations. These are simple star patterns that can be a group of stars that are a part of one constellation, or maybe a collection of constellations. And they're very useful for people who are just starting to learn how to ID things in the night sky, because it really is about what stands out to you. So as I show you this picture of the summer sky in the northern hemisphere, there are certain things that stand out to me right here this pattern, that's the summer triangle, and I'll point some of these asterisms out for you. But these are relatively simple patterns when you compare them to the constellations. So both are star patterns, but they do look different. And in the next portion of this video, we're going to dive in to the coat hanger asterism, which is located right in the summer triangle asterism that is right here. I do have a video on the summer triangle, as well as the northern cross and the teapot asterism. So if you want to learn more, please go see those videos. Now let's review some of the characteristics of this star cluster. It is one of those few things or patterns in the night sky that actually looks like what its name says. Here you can see there are six stars in a line and then four more stars that are connected here to make it look like a coat hanger. But like many things in astronomy, it has multiple names. One of those names is Al-Sufi's cluster, named after the Persian astronomer Al-Sufi, who first described this celestial object in his book of fixed stars in 964. It also goes by the name Brokey's Cluster, and this was named after an, an American amateur astronomer, Delermo Brokey. He was based in Seattle, and he created a map of this star cluster, and he did he observed variable stars a lot and contributed a great deal to the field of astronomy, and that was back in the 1920s he did that. And if we remove all the text and the lines, you definitely can see the pattern here. And, and I, and I kind of think of it as once you see it, you can't unsee this star pattern. Brokey's cluster is one that can be seen with an unaided eye, but it's definitely best if you can seek out dark skies in order to find it. For a closer view of it, you can use a pair of binoculars or low-powered telescope, and it's really an obvious shape to see in the night sky. So even though it's small, the shape is very obvious. And I learned that this is not a star cluster that is gravitationally bound to each other. Um, for most of the 20th century, it was thought that they were but recent measurements from the Hipparchos mission reveal that these stars are not grouped together in space. Now let's get some practice trying to find the coat hanger asterism in the night sky with some practice pictures. So when you look at this photo, the first thing that hopefully stands out to you is this bright star. And that star is part of the constellation known as Aquila the Eagle, and its star is called Altair. I do have a video on Aquila and a separate one, Altair, so go see those videos if you want to learn more. And there are quite a few other constellations here as well, but the one I want to bring your attention to is Sagitta right here. And this is a constellation that is represented as an arrow. It does look like an arrow to me in the night sky. And very close to that is where the coat hanger asterism is. So if you can identify Aquila in the night sky, the best way to do that is using the summer triangle. And then from there, hop over to Sagitta, find the arrow. And then right in that region is where the coat hanger asterism is. And here are some of the other constellations that are in this photograph as well. So let's try one more photograph to help us 
identify where it is in the sky. So I showed you this picture earlier, so let's get some more practice with it. Take your attention all the way to the left side of this photo. There you should see the Summer Triangle. And the Summer Triangle is made up of three constellations. We have Lyra, Cygnus, and Aquila. So again, here is Aquila. You can find Sagitta right nearby. And then the coat hanger asterism is right here. Now, my line is kind of hiding that, so I'm going to take that away. And if you draw that imaginary line from Vega down to Altair, the coat hanger asterism is in that imaginary pathway. So that's another way that you can practice finding it as well. And if we were to just point out some other asterisms here, we do have Sagittarius, we do have Scorpius, this is known as the teapot, and this is known as the fish hook. And these are all the constellations, well, not quite all of them, but a majority of the constellations in this area. And for me, when I'm thinking of the coat hanger asterism, I really can see it. It's very tiny, but it is right there. We've come to the end of our video about the coat hanger asterism, so let's review everything we've learned about it so far. As I'm speaking to you, I want you to try to look at this photo and see, are you able to point out that coat hanger pattern in the photo? Now, the coat hanger asterism is a star pattern that's located in Volpecula, the fox constellation, and it's best seen in June, July, August, and September. This would be summer for the northern hemisphere and winter for the southern hemisphere. And it is visible in both hemispheres. You can see it everywhere in the northern hemisphere and up to 55 degrees latitude in the south. So the best way that I find it is using the summer triangle. It is between the constellations Lyra and Aquila. You use Vega and Altair, which is right here, to help you find where, like which region of the sky the coat hanger is in. And then if you kind of zoom in, you can also use um, Sagitta and Volpecula to help you find this constellation, or excuse me, asterism as well. And for me, it's one of those easy things to find in the night sky. But if there is too much light pollution, I'm really not able to see it. The stars of it are of 5th, 6th, and 7th magnitude. So thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments, are you able to find this pattern in the night sky? Do you use a pair of binoculars or telescope to find it? So thank you so much for watching and as always, keep going outside, take somebody with you, share that experience, and as always, keep looking up.